Hi, I'm Amy Peterson. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist here at Heart South Cardiovascular. If you're watching this video, you've probably been prescribed a PET stress test. So I'm gonna review uh, what you can expect. After you checked in at the front desk, we'll call you back to one of the prep rooms. We'll go over your medical history and the prep. You will have arrived without having any caffeine for 24 hours before the test. That includes no coffee, tea, soft drinks, chocolate, not even decaffeinated coffee. I know it's hard, but it's important. You also have nothing to eat or drink except plain water. Water is fine all the way up to test time. You can take your medicines. If you're claustrophobic, your doctor will have prescribed you some Xanax to bring with you. You will take those with us so we can document the time that you took them. You'll arrive an hour earlier. So after we review your unique medical history, we'll get an IV started and we'll put some electrode stickers all over your chest, like a lot of them. Then we'll bring you across the hall to the scanner bed where you'll be laying flat on the bed with your head towards the end of the scanner. Once we get you all connected to the EKG leads in your blood pressure cuff, you'll be on there for 35 minutes. The scanner has two donut shaped gantry openings with a space in between. So with the first scanner gantry is a CT scanner. And so we'll advance the table in and out of that scanner a couple times. When it's time for the PET imaging, we'll advance you back through to the second scanner. That's where we'll spend most of our time. We'll give you the nuclear tracer in your IV. It doesn't feel any differently at all. And then we'll take an eight minute PET image. After that, we'll come in and we'll give you some different medicine that's gonna open up your blood vessels, bring more blood flow to your heart. That is the stress medicine and it's only active for three minutes. That can make you feel a little short of breath, a little tired, uh, maybe just a little bit lightheaded, just for a minute or two. Right behind that, we'll give you the same tracer that we already did. You won't feel any differently with that. We'll take a six minute PET image. During the whole time, we're monitoring all your vitals and we'll be able to see you through the control window. After that PET image, we'll come back in. We'll get you all disconnected. We'll bring you out for one more final quick CT scan. And then it's all finished. We'll get you something to eat and drink while you recover.